Today it's my puppy! Yay! <laughs> hey there creators, Nia here and uh, today I have another installment of the My Favorite Animal series and today is number four dogs <laughs> and what better uh, subject for this um, number for this animal than my own dog uh, a shielder and she's a harrier dog and she's a gorgeous dog <laughs> and we've only had her for a couple months now I think about two months so I I was really excited to finally be able to do uh, a piece on uh, a shielder a piece of a shielder <laughs> so um, to, I did this with uh, pan pastels and colored pencils so um, yeah let's get into it hi everyone so this is the sixth installment of the my favorite animals series uh, for these I'm going to do uh, a piece of artwork for my top 10 favorite animals starting at number 10 and today is my number four favorite animal dogs <laughs> Normally, um, I am selling the originals of these on my Etsy shop, link in the description, and 30% of the costs of the paintings will be donated to the World Wildlife Federation. However, for this piece, since it is my own dog, uh, I'm actually going to keep it. Because of that, uh, I will be donating $10 to the WWF out of my own pocket in, um, since the original piece won't be sold. Uh, as with all of these pieces, there will be prints available on my Redbubble, and again, the link is in the description. So, let's learn about dogs. <laughs> it was actually a bit difficult to research dogs in general, uh, just because it's such a diverse species uh, that it was difficult finding information that wasn't specific to certain breeds. You know, <laughs> speaking of dog breeds, there are over a uh, whopping 400 recognized breeds of dogs in the world today. No wonder I had such a hard time researching them. So uh, Canis familiaris is the Latin name for the domestic dog, and they were the first known species to be domesticated. The term man's best friend couldn't be more true um, uh, as the domesticated dog is uniquely tuned to the behaviors of humans. greatly in size, color, shape, and features. From the one pound teacup uh, poodle to the 200 pound giant mastiff. There are different types of breeds, pure breeds, cross breeds, mixed breeds, and natural breeds. Natural breeds are the breeds that have developed naturally over time with little to no selective breeding from humans. 
Crossbreeds are when two breeds of dogs are bred together, and mixed breeds are when a dog is descended from many breeds of dogs. Um, there are also different categories of dog breeds um, that are associated with their general personality and their driving force. Um, these include companion dogs, guarding dogs, hunting dogs, uh, working dogs, primitive dogs, pastoral dogs, sled dogs, and turnspit dogs, the last of which uh, are now extinct. Um, I won't go over each of the categories here, uh, but my dog, a shielder, is a harrier, uh, which is a type of hound um, in the hunting dogs ca category. Harriers are a type of scent hound uh, that was bred down from an English foxhound. They are uh, a medium-sized dog and look like they are a mix of an English foxhound and a beagle. Domestic dogs can be found all over the globe, but harriers originated from the United Kingdom. Uh, they, still you, they are still used today as uh, a pack dog in fox hunts in the UK and Ireland. Um, even though the name Harrier actually came from the fact that they were bred to hunt hares, uh, which they also do. <laughs> Domestic dogs in general are social creatures, but some breeds are more social than others. Uh, a shielder here, uh, being a Harrier, is a pack dog, and so socialization, whether that be with humans or other dogs, is a must. Harriers are also incredibly active and need to be taken out for walks every day. Tell me about it, <laughs> if not multiple times a day. Um, and they are so full of energy. socialization, uh, let's talk about mating. <laughs> so sexual maturation for the average domestic dog is about 6 to 12 months old, though some larger breeds uh, take longer to fully mature. Uh, after conception, dogs will bear their young after an average of 63 days with an average of about 6 puppies per litter. Smaller dogs tend to have less puppies, while larger dogs are likely to have more. Not all dog breeds have an easy time breeding though. Uh, for example, the male, male French Bulldogs um, are unable to mount females because of how they were bred. So humans have to interfere and art artificially inseminate the females. The typical lifespan for, uh, for the average domestic dog is about 10 to 13 years. Harriers, like a shielder, tend to live between 12 to 15 years. Uh, studies have shown that mixed breed dogs, on average, live 1.2 years uh, longer than the average purebred dog. Uh, the French Mastiff uh, is the breed with the shortest lifespan, about 5.2 years. Dogs are prone to a lot of the same diseases and conditions that humans are, like cancer, diabetes, dental issues, heart disease, epilepsy, and more. 
Some dog breeds are prone to specific health ailments like hip dysplasia or blindness or deafness. Uh, while there are many health similarities between dogs and humans, there are also many differences, such as certain common human foods that are toxic to dogs. Uh, that includes uh, chocolate, which is probably the most well-known, onion, garlic, grapes and raisins, and macadamia nuts. In general, it's best to just give dogs dog food and not human food. Speaking of food, uh, dogs being descended from wolves are naturally carnivores. However, unlike wolves, a dog's diet can adapt widely and most domesticated dogs today eat a more omnivorous diet. Uh, they can get their protein in many non-meat forms and can eat various types of vegetables and starchy foods. In fact, unlike wolves, domesticated dogs tend to have a starch-rich diet uh, that they thrive on. So at this point in these uh, video animal essays, I usually talk about the endangered status of the animal and conservation efforts, etc. However, domesticated dogs are definitely not endangered. Uh, in fact, the opposite is true. Uh, there are many reasons why uh, one might actively choose to breed dogs, and I won't get into the nitty gritty of that as that's for a matter of debate. Um, but in general, when you get a dog or a domesticated cat, uh, as Bar Bob Barker used to remind us, help control the pet population and spay or neuter your pet.
right, well, that's all the information on dogs I have for you right now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, this piece was done with Pan Pastels and Polychromos colored pencils. Um, I will be keeping the original of this piece as it is my dog. So I will be making a donation to the WWF out of pocket. And uh, just as a reminder, if you're interested in a print of a shielder here or any of my other animals in the series, uh, check out my Redbubble. By the way, if you're wondering where her name comes from, uh, we named a shielder after a character from Doctor Who. <laughs> she was a Viking uh, played by Maisie Williams who was made immortal by the 12th Doctor. <laughs> we really liked her name, so when we ended up uh, getting a dog, we decided to name her after a shielder. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, if you like what you see and you want to see more, click that subscribe button and that bell notification icon. Stay tuned for the number three favorite animal. Later, creators. Bye.